And now for our dinosaur of the day, which is Changosaurus sinensis, a type of tyrannosaur, and its nickname is Pinocchio Rex. The name Changosaurus comes from the site where the skeleton was found. Scientists found a nearly complete skeleton at a construction site in the city Ganzhou, which is in China, and the ancient name for Ganzhou is Qianzhou. So it was essentially named for where it was found. And it got a nickname, Pinocchio Rex, because it has such a big nose. The reason that this skeleton was so complete when they found it was because right after it died, it was buried in dirt, which protected it from water and air eroding it. This is according to the study's leader, Zheng Cheng Lu, who's from the Chinese Academy of Geological Sciences in Beijing. And the study was published in Nature Communications in May 2014. So the skeleton that they found has a well-preserved skull, neck, backbone, and tail. And one of the exciting things about the discovery is that Chianjosaurus proves that there were long-snouted tyrannosaurs. Before Chianjosaurus, there were two tyrannosaurs with long snouts that had been discovered in Mongolia but these were of juvenile skeletons, so scientists were not sure if it was a new type of dinosaur or if it was just a juvenile tyrannosaur that would later grow into its long nose. Changisaurus is twice the size of other long-snouted skeletons, which means that it's an adult, and its skull is totally fused and resembles that of an adult T-Rex skull. So there are hundreds of tyrannosaur skulls, and scientists know how these their bones join together and at what age it joins together. Thomas R. Holtz Jr., a paleontologist at the University of Maryland who's not affiliated with the study, said that Changosaurus was definitely an adult. Changosaurus had a nose that was 35% longer than other dinosaurs of its size, and its snout was 70% the length of its skull. It had a long, thin snout with many rows of tiny horns on the sides of its snout. This is different than the short, muscular snout on the T-Rex that we're used to seeing. It's unclear why it had this shape of a snout, but it may have helped it hunt differently or helped it bite faster. Scientists plan on using computer models to see how Chengisaurus used its snout. Modern animals with long snouts, like crocodiles, use them to catch fish, which we talked about quite a bit with the Spinosaurus. Although Chengisaurus doesn't have a snout nearly as long and skinny as Spinosaurus does. Chengisaurus was about 29 feet long and weighed about 1,800 pounds. And as Sabrina mentioned, it's part of the same family as T. rex, which is Tyrannosauridae. Chengisaurus and T. rex lived at the same time in the late Cretaceous, although Chengisaurus was smaller and faster than its cousin, the T. rex, which was 42 feet long compared to 29 feet. Chengisaurus also had a weaker jaw than T. rex, so it had a weaker bite. And it probably ate smaller, easier to catch prey than T. rex, which is considered a, quote, heavy bruiser. So Changosaurus's bite could not puncture bone like T. rex, but it probably used its more blade-like teeth to cut up its prey. And because Changosaurus and T. rex ate different foods, they would have lived in harmony with each other. Although no long-snouted tyrannosaurs have been found in the Americas, where Changosaurus lived in what is now China had lots of food. Its habitat had lots of trees and water and was home to lizards, over raptors and sauropods, and different tyrannosaurs may have lived and hunted alongside each other in Asia during the late Cretaceous. Because of the discovery of Changusaurus, scientists have named a new branch of the tyrannosaur family, a clad called Aleoramini. This clad includes Changusaurus and the two other long-snouted species, the ones that were found in Mongolia, and they're called Aleoramus. All of these dinosaurs have elongated skulls, and because of them, scientists think there may be even more long-snouted tyrannosaurs that have not been discovered yet. 